Now, tensions between Russia and Ukraine have further escalated after the Kremlin unleashed a massive drone and missile barrage throughout Ukraine. Now, according to reports, at least 30 people have died and more than 150 others have been injured in the latest Russian bombardment. The attack has caused several power outages in various parts of Kyiv, where the people reportedly took shelter in the subway. The Russian offensive comes after Ukraine reportedly launched multiple attacks on the Kremlin that allegedly targeted an oil refinery. Today's attack also comes just a couple of days after Prime Minister Narendra Modi's historic visit to the war-torn nation, where he pledged to play a role in bringing peace to Ukraine during his interaction with President Zelensky. The fresh bombardment also comes amid President Zelensky showing his support for organizing the second peace summit in India, which is scheduled to be held in November this year. Ukraine's first peace summit was held in Switzerland, which saw representations from 92 nations to take part in it. I truly believe that the second peace summit has to take place. Well, it would be good if it would uh, be held in one of the Global South countries. We are very open on that. And countries like Saudi Arabia, like Qatar, like Turkey, Switzerland as well, but that's a different direction. But, and we are currently talking to those countries about hosting the second peace summit. I perfectly support, and I told this to Prime Minister Modi, and uh, we could have the Global Peace Summit in India.